well good afternoon and this is a continuation video um, which uh, those of you who watched last week's video will realize um, I came I've come to Great Langdale and I went up onto the ridge um, went to near Lang How where there was a tarn hoping to get some images but um, yeah it was just too reedy and then before that though we um, found some waterfalls and then afterwards we found another tarn and the sun came out so we got a few images of some of the peaks uh, bathed in sunshine whereas now we've gone back to the drab grey sky um, so for those that you haven't uh, didn't watch last week's video yeah we've come along from Lang How and we're heading to Stickle Tarn so the aim on this video is to get to Stickle Tarn see if we can get any images there and then head down down the back uh, which I know there is uh, a number of of waterfalls etc that hopefully we can do before get back in back down to the valley bottom and then head back to the van yeah so that's the, the plan of this video um, I'm gonna be presumptuous and thank those that commented on the last video and my um, requests about where should the channel be going and that so uh, anybody who did uh, comment it is greatly appreciated so yeah so I'll stop rambling We'll get on this and we'll see you when we get to Stickle Tarn. Right, well we've made it to the tarn. Um, on this bit I had real difficulty um, staying on the path. And in the end uh, I actually got the compass out because although I've got the map on my phone with the GPS the paths aren't particularly clear although there's a, they're definitely marked on the map. So I thought I was going on the path, walk for a while, get the phone out and find I'd wandered off to the right or to the left. So in the end I got the compass out so when I was looking at the map I could um, have it pointing north so I knew which way I was going and even then I, I was struggling. It's, you sometimes wonder whether you're on a path or a, uh, a sheep trail. So anyway, but we're here now and we've come up with our first composition or our composition at the tarn here uh, right you can see there's the camera and um, the composition is um, <coughs> excuse me it's a portrait and we've got the fairly close in so we focus stacked it because we've got the rocks in front of the camera in the river and then um, is that Picasticles? Something like that. Um, whatever the name of that peak is, I will put up on the, the video when I get home. I think it's um, Picasticles. Something. It's something like that. Um, certainly one of the Langdales is. Um, and ha I think that one's Harrison Stickles. Again, if I've got it wrong, I'll put the, the correct name up on, on the video. So. Yeah, so that, that's the image we've come up with. I don't think it's going to be spectacular because, um, unfortunately, the light's not spectacular. It's, uh, as I say, uh, if you watched the video before, I did get some where the sun suddenly poked through the clouds and lit up some of the, um, the summits. Um, but since then, it's been very grey, very downcast. I think it's quite a good composition. Um, some of these big tarns, they're not easy to do. Um, I can't remember last time, last time I came, I did three tarns. I did Eastdale Tarn, Coddell Tarn and this tarn. Um, and some of them uh, had the drone out so I could get an aerial um, image. Um, but today, although I've got the drone with me, I just feel I'm still very nervous and I just feel it's far too windy. Um, if I did, I can't remember, but if I did take an aerial um, image 
of this tarn. I'll, I'll put it up on the video just so you can see what the, what the tarn's like. But uh, I think we've got a nice image there. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to carry on round the tarn. Um, if there's anything that in particular I think is quite good, I'll, I'll capture the image. But I think with the wind, um, the poor light, uh, the fact that the, the tarn's not particularly calm, so there won't be any reflections. I doubt whether we'll find anything else. Um, but going down Stickle Gill, I know there is a number of waterfalls that I want to try and capture those before we head back to the van. So, yeah, we'll carry on. We'll put this uh, image up and we'll see you a little bit later. Well, we've come to the, um, uh, there's a dam you can see along there. We've come to the dam and where the water comes out the, out the town. Um, I've actually had a look at the map and the one there, which I thought was Harrison Stickle, is actually Pay, Pay the Ark. Uh, and that's the image uh, that I've been capturing. You can see the cameras there on the rock on the... Um, Platypod. pod uh, and we've got a vertical composition which I might actually shorten instead of a 6x4 or you might call it a 3x2 I might make it a 5x4 or a 4x3 or something but that's basically I thought it was quite impressive and given that there's not an awful lot of colour I may make it um, black and white as well uh, and I'll have put it up on the video, but the one there that I thought was a uh, pike of stickle, it's actually, that is Harrison Stickle. So uh, I've got some of the names right, just the wrong mountain. So that's Harrison Stickle, which was in the last composition, which I will have put up on the video. And that one's Pavy Ark. Um, so we've got the composition here. Uh, what we're going to do now is start heading down the gills see what other waterfalls there are as we head back to the van. We've still got plenty of time, it's only about half past six, sunset's not till gone eight o'clock so anyway we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well hopefully you can hear me on the, the roar of the river and we've come down not much further and we've got our next composition so um, yeah um, you can see there's the camera and we're zoomed in on to the um, that's not that's not a zoom out let's move it up and down we're sort of taking a an intimate shot or intimate image of the waterfall because if we look at the back of the camera 
but I'll show you that. Um, 100 ISO F8 and half a second. But that we have got a circular polarizer and a three stop ND filter on just to, to slow it down so we can get the, um, the slower shutter speed. So hopefully that will come out. And as you can see, obviously, obviously you saw from the, the back of the camera there, it's a uh, black and white. Uh, in a square crop. Uh, obviously, I want to get on the computer. If, if I feel that's not right, I can change it. But that's uh, that was my feeling. That's what I've gone for. Uh, monochrome square crop, three stop ND filter, just to slow it down to half a second. So, yeah, if it's any good, we'll put it on the video, and we're going to head further down. Um, supposedly, there's a, a path by the river here. Uh, it looks a bit too um, dicey for me and I don't think there's any particular waterfalls down this stretch here so we're going to go up to the, the main path that's just just slightly up there goes along there and we'll follow that down so yeah we'll put the, the image up and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well I've come uh, down the, the, the main path which comes away from um, the gill. Um, although it is quite, it's not the easiest to pass because you're coming down quite steeply although there's blocks to stand on. And we've come back towards the river or the gill and there's an awful lot of um, waterfalls as you can see there and the water coming down here um, I'm feeling quite tired and I would imagine that can the probably better got from the footpath working from the footpath on the other side so I'm not going to actually stop and uh, capture images of these ones here maybe if there's ones further down that I can easily um, get access to but I'm quite tired and I don't want to start risking um, going on difficult bits when I'm tired so we'll carry on down the path and we'll see what happens Right, well hopefully you can hear me above the roar of the water. Um, and we've come down, this is just off the path and relatively easy to get to. And it is starting to get dark now. Um, we're probably half an hour, an hour away from sunset. But this is, uh, this is just epic, this one. Um, now set it up with just a landscape um, orientation. Um, it was F11, 100 ISO, and that gave us half a second. And yeah, I'm just really impressed by looking on the back of the camera. Now, whether I'll leave it like that, or whether I'll make it monochrome, or whether I'll, I'll alter the uh, from 3v2 to whatever, I don't know. I'm really impressed with that. So we'll put that up after this on the video, and then we'll be heading back to the road. Um, probably only going to stop if we see something really nice now um, and then we get to the hotel maybe have some refreshments 
and then we'll head to the van and head home. So, anyway, we'll see you a bit later. Right, we found this final fall on the way down, but it's getting quite dark now and it doesn't look particularly easy to get down. So I've decided um, I'm not going to capture an image of this today. I mean, it's a place well worth coming to and working up the gill when lots of energy and try and capture some of these um, images of these waterfalls. I mean, it'd be helpful if the weather was a bit better, but. Um, yeah, it's been a good. It's been a good day. Um, let's just uh, up that a bit. And um, yeah, we've, we've hopefully got two videos, and I believe I've got a couple. Certainly, one really good image. Um, some others that are quite reasonable, which you will have all seen now. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, why not subscribe? And please do comment. All comments are much appreciated and help me um, get the channel working to the benefit of everyone. Uh, if you've seen the last video and haven't commented on the future of the channel, please do that as it will be much appreciated. So, yeah, I'm just going to go back down to the road, possibly stop at the hotel for some refreshment, then back to the van and then home. So, yep. Yeah. We'll see you on the next video.